There's a place on the border of Argentina and Brazil called Iguazu Falls. If you ever get an opportunity, you should go check it out because it is awesome. This little part right here is known as the Devil's Throat. It's about a 300 foot plunge into the depths of nothingness. And I'd like to use this as an analogy for using note cards in a speech. Everybody knows why you want to use a note card. You think that you need them. You don't. For a five, 10 minute speech especially, they're only holding you back. They are keeping you from greatness. They are bumpers at the bowling alley and training wheels on your bike. These things are inherently less impressive to watch. Back to the waterfall. As you come up to the falls, you notice two groups of people. One small crowd, one giant crowd. What is going on? As you approach the small crowd, you see it's a tightrope walker. He's got that rope stretched from one end of the falls all the way across to the end. And he's going to walk it. And these people are here for it. Then you look down the way, you see that giant crowd over there. It's another tightrope walker. Why are those people so much more engaged? When you get a look at the two and compare them, you instantly see why. Small crowd tightrope walker is about to accomplish an amazing feat, an engaging one. He has his rope, he has his balancing stick, and he has a net. Exciting. But that guy, he's got the rope, he's got the balancing stick, and he's got no net. He's come here to live or die today. He's gonna make it from this side to the next side or he's gonna plunge to his death. He's putting it all on the line and everyone in that crowd can feel it. When you stand before an audience without notes, without aid, without assistance, without a net, the audience can feel it. It is palpably different. Even if you stumble, we're here for it. It might even be more exciting. If you stumble with notes, we're very unforgiving. This is not the case for a speaker who stands before an audience, eschews the notes, erases that barrier between me and you. We're not making a connection between my words and you. We're making a connection between you and me. This is more meaningful. Using note cards makes this connection infinitely more challenging. They are a barrier, like a wall, a screen, or a podium. Anytime you can remove barriers between you and the audience, do it. They're here for the connection. Make it easy for them. Ditch the safety net and do this thing for real. Put it all on the line. And luckily for you, even if you fail, you will not plunge 300 feet to your death. You can get up tomorrow and do it again. So if you're not gonna use note cards, how do you keep this whole thing together? A very simple strategy is just to consider your entire presentation like a story. Think of a great movie that you love. Whether you saw it yesterday or 10 years ago, you could probably tell me exactly what happens. This, then that, then that, and then this. You don't need a refresher, it lives here. Your brain is made to tell, create, and listen to stories. Consider your speech like a story. What happens first? Then where do we go? Then what? And how do we end? Creating this narrative arc will not only help you retain the information in that speech, it will also help the audience to stay engaged and remember what you said. And if you do it without notes, you're giving this speech the opportunity to be great. Step out on that tightrope, cut away the net, and start walking. And when you fall, get up and do it again. The more you do, the better you'll get and the braver you'll be. That is how bravery is built. Till next time.